hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's me crystal chanel and today your girl is going to be trying to do her very first weekend vlog so if you're interested to in see exactly what i have going on for the day make sure that you stay tuned to check that out i have some errands i have to run i've been sick and i haven't been able to go and do what i need to do over the last three weeks so i'm a little behind on just stuff that i need to buy things that I've been watching online that I actually want to go ahead and buy. So I figured I would bring you all along with me. Um, today, my look, I did a, a simple Danessa Myricks makeup look. It's a soft glam. And I do uh, have a wraparound ponytail on today too. So I'm gonna try and get some pictures uh, for you all. But here's my makeup look for the day. Pretty simple, nothing, um, you know, I, I, it's Saturday. I couldn't do a full on face, but I put on some lipstick just to, you know, kind of spruce it up a little bit. And we're going to first go by, um, I think we're going to first go by Sephora because I wanted to get a few new uh, bronzers. I wanted to try that Mario uh, bronzer that he has. So we're going to run by Sephora in Highland Village. And then we're going to walk over to Crate and Barrel because there's some wine glasses that I want to purchase those and some champagne glasses that I've had my eye on. So we're going to, uh, you know, first start with those two places and just kind of see where the day, the weekend leads us to. And yeah, just stay tuned. Make sure that you keep watching and I'll see you in a bit. Let's go ahead and, and get moving. trying to come to Starbucks and get me a drink but this line is ridiculous so yeah I don't think I'm gonna sit in this line I'm gonna go ahead and roll out and just head straight over to Sephora and we'll grab some lunch or get something from over there because Sephora line sometimes y'all just be crazy I'm tempted to sit in this line but I'm not let's go let's go Y'all, we are here, and when I say Sephora and uh, Crate and Bear are literally right next door to each other, it's like heaven. So let's go ahead and walk inside and see what Sephora has and see what we're going to pick up.
these are so pretty i've got to i'm gonna get six of these just to make a complete set but these are the camille 23 ounce uh, long stem wine glasses beautiful go inside of home goods this is a new home goods over here that i had absolutely no idea existed until one of my friends told me and it looks like it's it a little baby home goods so we're gonna check it out and see if they have anything worth purchasing in here so let's go ahead and walk in and see what they have Let's go look at their pillows real quick because I am in major need of replacing mine. Their pillows as of lately just have not been good. So let's see, let me get down this aisle and see what they have. Y'all, what's been going on lately with Home Goods and a pillow selection? <clears throat> what are these down here? How big are they? Ooh, those are pretty. Yes. That may be a score. So we're gonna get those two for $40 each, which is very reasonable. Let's see what else they have.
okay, we're gonna take these two pillows and see how they look in the living room. This is super pretty. It's a hundred dollars. And they have two of them. Y'all, it's stuff like this you have to put up for Christmas time when you have kids. They're on sale for $5. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get two of these for the girls and put them up for Christmas time. Stocking stuffers. get another dog bed for my sister-in-law because she kept my dog when we were in Mexico <laughs> and my dog ate her dog's bed so he will need a new bed this little fluffy one looks nice how big is it yeah let's get that Candle vessel is pretty. I just don't like the way it smells. But when I'm looking for candles, I'm always looking for candles that like match the decor of my house, and that would have been so pretty. But it stinks. So we're gonna leave it here.
these are so pretty. would be so pretty like outside on your patio but it's missing the brown cord the hanger on one of them $39.99 is not bad either I always come look at the glasses <clears throat> just a refresh and these are $3.99 each. I kind of like them just to be like little water cocktail glasses. Y'all, this is my favorite part of Home Goods. It's the food aisle. They have some of the best noodles, um, seasoning, and stuff that you could get. And it's at such a reasonable price. Let's see what kind of noodles they have. We eat a lot of fish and seafood. So like being able to put these noodles with some sauce, some homemade Alfredo sauce or pesto sauce. They always turn out good. What are these? So it's basically ramen. That's basically what it is, it's ramen. Spicy cheese, my son may like some of those. So we just came out of Home Goods and I got a couple of few things there. I think I am gonna see how those pillows look on my couch. And if not, of course, they'll be coming back. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I'm sold on them yet. I'm gonna see what they look like on the couch and then we'll just go from there. And then let's talk about how this makeup is holding up. This Danessa Myricks on its own with no primer, no setting powder, no anything, just the balm itself looks really good. Um, 
I haven't had to blot at all. It looks really good on steel and the color is a really good match too. I've been looking in some of the mirrors inside the stores just to make sure that, you know, in different lighting, um, everything was blended and it didn't look too off and it doesn't. So I guess that, you know, the color started balancing out itself once it oxidized a little bit, which wasn't much. Um, and it is super matte too. So we're going to see how this goes on. Um, I put this on this morning around 8 a.m. and it is 1231 now. So we're doing pretty good on time as far as not having to blot or, you know, get all that oil off of our face. So I'm a little out of breath. I've gone to Home Goods, Sephora, Crate and Barrel, and I'm going to try and figure out where else I need to go now. So stay tuned. Okay, so y'all, I came back home to come and pick up my kids so that we can go and have some lunch and get something to eat because they literally just woke up and it is like one o'clock in the afternoon. Don't ask me why, but yeah. So I came to pick them up um, so that we can go grab some lunch, but while they're getting dressed, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Sephora. I'm so excited. So I got some makeup by Mario products that I hadn't tried yet. Um, this one right here is one of their lip pencils and it's in the color Chris. And it looked so pretty inside the store that I was just like, I have to take it home. Um, so I bought this and, ooh, I didn't know it comes with the pencil sharpener. And I needed a pencil sharpener so bad. So yeah, this is the color Chris, like a pretty rust, like brown color. I'm excited to try that on. I may actually put that on today. And then the other side is like a brush. I guess you can kind of like smudge or use this with a, I don't know. We gonna figure it out. <laughs> but I got this at Sephora. Excited about using that. I also got a couple of their um, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. So I got it in the colors Bronze Glow and Apricot Glow, and they both were really pretty inside the store. I swatched them on my hand. So I got picked up two of these just to kind of see. And they looked really pretty. Um, I was just about to say, I'm hoping I didn't get the same color or somebody. Okay, so they look similar in color as far as the tube goes, but they are completely different. Color bomb. I'm gonna swatch this at the bottom of the lip pencil, and this is the bronze glow. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. You see that? And then the apricot glow, I'm gonna swatch that at the top of the pencil to see what it would look like. Oh, that's going to be pretty too. So two very pretty bombs. Matter of fact, I'm going to try one on. Let me, let me grab something. Okay. Let's wipe off what we have on and try this. I gotta get this pink off. I was getting so many compliments on this pink lipstick by Milani that I did um, for my everyday makeup wear. And it's such an old color. I don't even know if they still sell it. Okay, let's try on this lip pistol. Where'd I put it? So again, this was in the color Chris. Let's try it on. Very smooth. Oh, that's pretty.
Y'all, this is a beautiful color. Look at that. And I'm gonna use it with the apricot glow today. And see how it looks. Oh, yes. Oh, that's pretty. Y'all see that? Oh, Mario, yes, look at this. Oh, that's a pretty combination. Now I wanna try the darker one, which I think was called Jeff. And then I'm gonna go back and get the Travis. They didn't have it in sock. And it was kind of more of like a nude brown that was almost the same color as my skin tone. But yes, Mario, for this, this is staying on for the rest of the day. Okay, so yes. All right, so I got those three Mario products. I also got uh, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I got it in the color dark. And this was also limited in stock. They almost, they they have a few of them left, but I almost wanna try this on now, but I already have on a bronzer. Look at how pretty that is. Super cute. I almost wanna try it now. Should I try it now, y'all? I can't help myself if I can just find the brush. Oh, okay. It just looks pretty on top of what I already had. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. So I got that. Let me just... Yes, I got that. All right, so I also picked up the Huda Beauty's new concealer. This is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte. I got it in the color Peanut Butter, which is 6.7R. I had another one that I had shipped to me. Um, I'll have to look and see what color that was, but it was almost the same color as my skin tone, but it was a little too red and I didn't like it. So I forgot to take it with me back to the store today because I could have just returned it. But I got this one instead. And I think that this one is going to work out much better for me. If I just swatch that here, this is a more lighter and peachy type color for me. So hopefully that's gonna look really good under my eyes. And just looking at it, it looks like it is. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful under eye color. So I got this. I also was able, y'all know this is always sold out. I was able to get the Dior Attic uh, Lip Glow Oil. They only had one color left and I just got it. It was in the color Rosewood. So I'll be plopping this in my purse too. Y'all know about the Lip Oil, the Dior. So this came home as well. And yeah, I'm gonna just throw that in my purse. And then I also got out of their line this was just sitting there and it looked really cute it had some cute colors and i swatched it inside the store but it's the sephora brand uh disco diva eyeshadow palette so let me just open it up for you real quick really pretty colors so i picked that up and i'm gonna try that and see how that looks on but this was $15, so good buy on that one. And then that is actually it. So I wanted to show y'all that real quick before I head out to lunch and try and get something in my stomach because I haven't eaten. But again, this lip gloss combo is everything right now. I'm about to put this in my purse now and I'll see y'all later. Bye.
it, why does it sound like he is by? Because she's saying me. guys so it is sunday and i just came back from the grocery store doing some grocery shopping for the week um sundays for me are just really me trying to get the house together just kind of straightening up cleaning up a little bit and washing clothes so that's what i'm about to do is put away some groceries but before i do so i had to come and show you all this uh simple human trash can that i looked up on at home goods yesterday now this trash can is normally on their website for $300. I was able to get it at Home Goods for $150. Like it is so cute and amazing. It's a double trash can. So one side is for recycling and then the other side of course is for trash. But it's so cute. Let me see if I look at it. This was the old simple human that we had before and now this is the new one so super excited about my new trash can so yeah that's what we're doing today cleaning up washing putting away clothes and just you know getting the house back in order so let's get to work
right, so I wanted to come and share some grocery items that we got for the week that I normally buy on a regular basis, but I cut a couple of new things that I wanted to try out from HEB. Um, my little girl, Gray, she loves corn, so I always get, you know, some fresh corn for her. I did get some uh, mushroom and onion to saute in the pan. I can do that with, you know, any type of seafood or um, shrimp, anything like that just for dinner during the week. So these are really good to grab. I love hot dogs sometimes, so I do get the light year hot dogs. They are plant-based and you really cannot tell a difference. They're so good. And then of course I got me a refill of some mozzarella cheese because when I make a homemade Alfredo, I use a lot of cheeses in it. So this is one of my favorites. So I always re-up on the mozzarella. And then I tried these. Um, I've never tried them before, but they're the single pan sautés from HEB. This is a chipotle lime, and it has carrots, corn, it has jalapenos in it, it has cauliflower rice, um, and zucchini, along with some red onions. But it also comes with the chipotle lime sauce, and you can just kind of mix this and eat this with your fish and your proteins also. So I tried this one. And I tried the one that is savory garlic. It has red and green bell peppers. It has mushrooms, squash, and zucchini. It also has some asparagus chopped up in there. So, um, and then of course it also comes with the savory garlic packet. So I'm gonna try these this week and see how they taste with some, you know, protein or fish or some shrimp or scallops on the side. And then when I cook my salmon, I always put rosemary in the pan to saute my salmon with. So I re-upped on this. And then of course I got some more shrimp um, because the shrimp was on sale. So I got some more colossal shrimp and then I got some bananas for Janelle because she loves bananas. So we got bananas, we have grapes, we got a little bit of everything from the grocery store. And yeah, so I am just going to work on refilling my refrigerator and getting everything put away.
All right, guys, so we're coming to the end of this weekend vlog. It was my very first one, so I hope you enjoyed. We did a little bit of shopping, we cleaned up, we got some new makeup, and we got a few things for the house that, you know, was super exciting to me. I know it's not much, but, you know, I love getting new stuff. So I am enjoying my trash can and my new makeup. And again, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you comment below if you want to see more content like this. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.